um, I, I just want to say thanks uh, for all panelists for their hard work uh, for their speeches. And I want to thank to everyone who listened to us and discussed with us today. We hope to continue these events to increase our influence all over the world. And we hope to carry the struggle for socialism further every time we meet again. Long live socialism, long live International Socialist League. Omer, gracias, Denis. Omer, de la lucha de Pakistán. Uh, thank you, comrade. Uh, and, um, like uh, the earlier comrade uh, from Turkey said, there's uh, nothing much to add. Um, as I gather from uh, the reports that I uh, heard today, uh, I think we uh, the, the the fact that we are all in this together uh, was uh, uh, refreshed for me and for all of us. And uh, and this uh, global pandemic, when uh, where it uh, has a uh, um, is killing us uh, both physically and spiritually. The split side to it is that uh, it has triggered a strong sense of uh, uh, solidarity and uh, and the fact that despite having all the differences uh, of color, race, and gender, uh, we are in this uh, together. And also, I believe that uh, masses, especially the workers and the youth, uh, is uh, not only closely watching this situation. Uh, but we'll also remember how uh, in the most desperate times they were pushed um, towards their death uh, uh, by the system so that's just to uh, just so that they can put uh, food on their tables and this whole situation will uh, eventually materialize uh, in some form um, of of of, uh, of movement um, and uh, and also that uh, also as as far as the youth is concerned, uh, uh, more than seventy percent of the youth uh, of the world population is uh, below thirty five, and uh, approximately sixty percent is the generation that uh, never saw any prosperity. Um, and especially uh, and, and in the, the, the first there was in two thousand eight great recession, and now we are moving towards this uh, great depression two point oh. Uh, and uh, I think um, uh, the need for international solidarity and international uh, leadership and, inter and an international organization is uh, more than ever before. And, uh, and I believe that uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, World Youth Forum will continue its activities and it is a, a great help to uh, not only engage but also uh, understand um, how uh, how how movements of youth and students and workers are manifesting themselves around the around the globe, and uh, I just hope that uh, uh, when this pandemic is over, uh, uh, we we will someday we uh, be able to uh, meet in person as well. Uh, but till then, uh, long live internationalism, long live socialist revolution. Thank you. Gracias, Omer. Thanks, Omer. Now we'll hear from Mariano Rosa from the Argentine MST. Well, I will be very brief. I think the event was very enriching, very representative, like the International Conference. It was a event of people in struggle, of organizations that reflect processes of struggle and mobilization throughout the whole world. I want to take the opportunity to say that the Lebanese comrades, since there isn't a second round, they sent us a message about the campaign of international solidarity that we are carrying out has been very positive. They are preparing a video with a, everything we have sent them, <clears throat> with the material we have sent from 
very from many different countries from the organizations of the ISL. I think for the stage of the world that we're going to, in addition to crisis and polarization, we have to know that the youth will continue being at the front of rebellions and revolutions and that we have to be in the first place profoundly in solidarity with struggles everywhere to collaborate with the struggles that are in development now in defense of basic rights the right to public education for the children of the working class and also in solidarity with a workers of the precarious economy in a struggle that will continue and something we are in which we are beginning to intervene in many countries we think this is only a beginning and we have to prepare our organizations to continue intervening in this sector and its struggles i think the international socialist league and all of the organizations that are part of it must be at the vanguard of these struggles, taking them as its own banners, and at the same time, taking on a, the task of all tasks, which is that through those struggles, we come together, we link together, we relate with the best militants and activists that emerge from those processes in the student sector, as well as <clears throat> the working class, to argue that they take a step towards the political arena and organize with us and internationally, because this is key to take on the historic uh, challenge that we have and the working peoples have, which is together with the struggles to build a political tool in our countries and internationally to fight for the power of the working people, for a government of the workers to take on the transition to socialism and the society we strive for. We have our youth manifesto, which is a great tool to take to workplaces, to places of study, to make well known in the social media, which has analysis, which has proposals. We have on August 22nd, our, uh, our rally in homage of Trotsky on his, the 80th anniversary of his assassination. And for all the new comrades who have participated in this forum to get to know us, uh, precarious workers, students, uh, we ask you to take the step of uh, joining our organizations because the struggles will continue to multiply because capitalism attacks the youth and the peoples and will continue to apply austerity against us. And the decision to uh, build polit a, a political tool is a conscious and voluntary, voluntary decision uh, that is necessary to build this and fight for a, an egalitarian society. So greetings to everyone. I think this has been another success uh, of the initiatives that the International Socialist League has been organizing. Greetings to all.